The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from San Jose, California, Bailey. Sounds to me, guys, like this crowd is ready to get this night started. They're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another. NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Byron, you have followed Charlotte's career since she arrived on the scene at NXT. Yeah, I remember Charlotte's first match on NXT, and she had her father, WWE Hall of Famer, the Nature Boy Ric Flair, by her side. But boy, she created her own exclusive path of success here at WWE. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe. Once Bailey was signed to Monday Night Raw, she renewed a rivalry with former friend and foe Charlotte Flair. During their days in NXT, they were part of the famous Four Horsewomen, a group who helped revolutionize women's wrestling. The hunger came to each other so well thanks to their days together in NXT. Charlotte was determined to show Bailey that things were going to change now, that the hugger was in the big time on Monday Night Raw. I'll give Bailey this. Whether it was on Monday Night Raw or 2017 special events like the Royal Rumble and Fastlane, Bailey showed Charlotte that she was up for the challenge. But if I know the Queen, Bailey better watch her back. Fight, not lay down. When the WWE Mixed Match Challenge was announced, SmackDown's first team was Charlotte Flair and Bobby Roode. I couldn't have picked a more glorious pairing myself. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Charlotte, not in a good place right now. Though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. Corey, that Charlotte and Bobby Roode pairing was a slam dunk for SmackDown Live general manager Daniel Bryan. They're both decorated champions, and they both know how to rock a robe. And while I'm usually not a fan of Daniel Bryan's decision making, he really stacked the deck for SmackDown Live when he put the Queen and the Glorious One together. Beautiful technique. Elbow drop. Got the oh, oh my goodness, crushing it. We'll see how long she can keep it up. Ooh, right in the face. Destroyed. So impressive. She goes for the quick pin. And she kicks out with relative ease. Gonna take more than that. Wow, 
Oh, Charlotte just crumbled there. Down goes the queen. Ooh, what impact. Neckbreaker. Oh, the really evades that one. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Back now inside the ring. A quick reversal by Bailey. And it's Charlotte with a reversal. There's a reason why she's genetically superior. Shoulder tackle. Up and face first, Flapjack. T-Bone! And Bailey evades that one. Bam, what a slam. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Some people might not agree, but I think sometimes Bailey can be a bit too much. Dangerously close to getting counted out. Definitely cutting it close, Michael. Eight. And I think it's clear that Charlotte is feeling the physicality of this match. This is not at all where she wants to be right now. You've got to give these women so much credit. They've really been put through the ringer here tonight. The incredible impact. It is not looking good for Bailey, And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. She's flipped the switch and the light is on. Power bomb. She's back in full control now. Two. Well, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. She's still in this one. And it's Bailey feeling fired up. Big slam. Charlotte is in trouble. I think that's cover here. One, two, three. Yes, takes it. Well, that's a win. Big, big win. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. Oh, you had a feeling this was going to happen. Now they're face to face. 